Hello, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello, my crypto peeps, and welcome to SCN. Thank you all for watching and listening. And please like, share, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And just a reminder for my crypto peeps I am not a financial advisor, I'm just giving you my own opinion. Let's start off with the market. Market cap 219 billion. Bitcoin dominance 51.5%. Bitcoin currently 6,544 with a 0.55% loss. Uh, Ethereum $226 with a minus 1.24%. XRP 55 cents with a 0.04%. Biggest winner. Cortex, 13.66% gain, congratulations. Biggest loss, R-Shane, minus 13.51%. Sorry. Today I will do a flash news like I did yesterday because I unfortunately don't have enough time at the moment. But I will give you all of it in a small segment. <clears throat> Let's get into the news. Venture capital investment in blockchain and crypto up 280% in 2018, a report shows. What do I always say? Hashtag what? Hashtag go blockchain. Bitcoin surge resulted in Fidelity making huge profits. Hashtag Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is um, surged. It resulted in Fidelity making huge profits. Well... Good for fidelity then. Uh, this is interesting. You went to discuss blockchains at development forum. Digital ledgers may help reach sustainable goals. Blockchain technology is a game-changing development for social impact and economic transformation, said Helen High, head of the Blockchain Charity Foundation, in a press release. The World Investment Forum is a great opportunity for stakeholders who are taking a broader perspective to meet and assess the long-term impact of this breakthrough technology. Hashtag go blockchain. And secondly, Yes, this long-term impact of this breakthrough technology. She she literally put the nail on the head there. That is exactly what this is. UK finance minister blockchain could be solution to Irish border trade issue after Brexit. The British finance minister Philip Hammond uh, spoke at the Tory party conference in Birmingham and uh, Hamming reportedly asserted that there is technology becoming available. I don't claim to be an expert on it, but the most obvious technology is blockchain. When asked how the government plans to achieve frictionless trade after Brexit, I'll say it again, hashtag go blockchain here. The six best blockchain games and why they will get better. Well, I won't get into why they will get better. I will just name them for you. Number one, we have Spells of Genesis. Number two, Aug Augmenters. And number three, Magic Academy. Then we have Crypto Kitties, Hunter Coin, and Mega Crypto Police. Do you guys play uh, these games? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite out of these six. Remember, it was the top six. That doesn't mean maybe you have another game that wasn't listed there. But let me know in the comment section down below. Google spanned up obfuscated code from web store extensions likely to affect crypto trackers. Google's new restrictions on Chrome web store extensions introduced Monday, October 1st, are likely to affect crypto trackers. In a blog post, Google confirmed that as of now, Chrome extensions submitted to the web store would not be allowed if they contain obfuscated code. Aside from the security impl uh, implications, obfuscated code, which the post described as mainly used to conceal code functionality, adds a great deal of complexity to the process of reviewing extensions for approval. Well, that I think is really good. Um, we don't want crypto jackers to have it easy to hack us. We don't want them to be able to hack us at all. Am I right? Am I right? Charlie Lee tweets on his Twitter page, I just bought an Amazon gift card using Litecoin. The payment went through instantly and I got the gift card right away. Good job on the great user experience. Bit refill. Hashtag pay with Litecoin. Hashtag pay with Lightning. Buy Amazon vouchers and gift cards with Litecoin. If you use Amazon and you have Litecoin, well, here you go. You can give away a Litecoin gift card uh, on Amazon to, to one of your family, to one of your friends. 
maybe that will get them to get more involved and want to be part of this even more. Uh, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, XRP is 1000 times faster than Bitcoin and 1000 times less expensive. At the Swell 2018 conference in San Francisco, Garlinghouse told Shedder he doesn't focus on the price of XRP and instead looks at how the technology can be used to solve problems. I really don't think about the price performance, I do think about the technical performance. And I think about the fact that XRP is about 1000 uh, times faster than a Bitcoin transaction and about 1000 times less expensive than a Bitcoin transaction. XRP has demonstrated it is the most efficient, efficient digital asset to solve a payment problem. What I say internally at the company very genuinely is I don't know how to think about the price of XRP over three days, three weeks or three months. I think about how do we build an incredibly successful product and solutions on top of this decentralized open source technology to solve a customer problem. Sounds good to me. What do you, how is your thoughts about XRP? Because XRP and Ripple is in the news every day. If it's not one, it's ten news. It's always news about Ripple and XRP. Are you an XRP believer, hodler, investor? Or do you say, ah, I don't care about XRP, I don't care about Ripple, I have my other altcoins that I focus on. Or maybe you just are a Bitcoin hodler or Bitcoin investor. Can't you, if, if you want to share it with me, comment in the comment section down below. Um, and on CNBC it reads, uh, it was Ryan Brown that has done this. Uh, Ripple's cryptocurrency product goes live. XRapid is live, you guys. I told you that uh, yesterday, but I'm telling you again. XRapid is live. Ripple said XRapid, which uses cryptocurrency XRP to carry out international transactions, is now commercially available. The development marks the first time XRP will be used in com uh, commercial application by financial service firms. Uh, CEO Brad Garlinghouse was set to announce that the news at Ripple's annual Swell conference. Why well, didn't we all just expect that? Of course he would. Uh, and if you go and search for Ripple on YouTube, you can actually see some uh, some of the videos that they have posted um, from the Swell event. Or you can just write Swell event 2018 uh, in the search engine up here. Or you go to Ripple's official YouTube site. Well, that was it for today. That was the Flash News. I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you so much again for watching. Please go ahead, like, share, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you never miss out. And don't forget, crypto loves you. Until next time, hey do.